Hi, welcome to the Saturday Show. I'm Kurt Vincent with the Bladen Journal. This is a continuation of our series on volunteering in Bladen County. My guest today is Valerie Newton. She's the Communications and Public Information Director with the Bladen County Schools. Welcome, Valerie. Thank you for having me. Thank Appreciate you very you much. Coming. Before we get to talk about volunteer opportunities with the schools, uh, we're about two months into the school year. Uh, tell us how things are going so far. Things are going very good. We're having a great year. We've got a new superintendent with us this year, and he has given us very clear and good focus and vision and goals. So we just we feel real confident about where we're going. Things are moving smoothly. Great. He's been on board since July 1st, I think it he is. He came in July 1st, so we had a, a real short summer. We were very active in trying to get everything in place for the school year. But it's, it's, everything's fallen in place and it's moved right along. Good, smooth transition. Or Very smooth transition. Great. Now, I know you've also got uh, at least one or two new principals, and uh, this is National Principals That's Month. That's right. So uh, I guess those uh, folks are doing well as, as well. They are. In fact, we just had a recognition for them at our board meeting this past Monday night and had all our principals there and presented them with certificates and thanked them for all their efforts because they really have to do a lot of different jobs within the buildings and it's just amazing sometimes how they get the things done that they do. Right. Well, that's great. Now, getting into the volunteering aspect from the schools, mentoring, I'm sure, is a big, a big area. Um, how can folks get in, involved in, in mentoring in the schools? We always, always welcome people that want to come and volunteer. We never have enough. So anybody that's got an interest in doing that, helping with the schools, we certainly ask them to stop by the school. If they know a particular school they'd like to volunteer at, they can go and speak with that principal, and that principal can get them in contact with our Human Resources Department. We will ask that they fill out just a very brief application, and we'll process that, and once they're approved, they are ready to go. Now, I know you were saying earlier that uh, you have about 40 uh, volunteers on average, but you could use easily 10 times that many. Absolutely. There are so many different areas that volunteers can help in. And a lot of times the, the mindset is that you've got to be an educator or you've got to know something about education to, to help within the schools. And that's just not, not the case. We need folks that can come in and just assist during field days or field trips, help teachers put up bulletin boards. I mean, there's so many things that have to go on during the school day. And we can use, right. use help with any of those. And I assume with the mentoring program, it's anything from reading with children right on up through helping with arithmetic and it anything is. else. It is. They can, they can come in for an hour at a time. They can come in for 30 minutes at a time. We, we don't have any set schedule for volunteers. They're welcome to come in and spend as little or as much time as they have with us. And they can, they can read. They can come in and just read to one classroom. That's right. even good. Okay, great. Um, how important are volunteers to the school district? Volunteers are very important. They bring a different perspective to the students. A lot of times the students will see the same face day in and day out. Volunteers can come in and they can actually share a story or share something that's going on outside of the school with those students and, and give them exposure to other things. So it's very important. Right. And the kids seem to like it, I would imagine. Oh, the kids love it. When, when they have visitors to the school, it's, it's you know, nice to see them because they'll get on their best behavior and, you know, they'll walk in a straight line and, and they'll try to, um, you know, smile and wave and, and do everything just perfectly. And the kids right. love it. That's great. Um, now, aside from the mentoring, there are a lot of other areas, you mentioned some, helping with field days, uh, even in the schools, that, that volunteers can get involved in. It's probably a wide variety of things that they can do. It is, it is. They, um, they don't have to just come in and instruct and deal with instruction and curriculum and academics. They can come in and, and help with field day. Um, a lot of the, the schools will have something going on in the fall. They'll have a fun day or a festival. And then again in the spring they'll do something. So just just simply having a, a person come in and help the teacher keep track of, of all the numbers or helping the coaches set up the different activity stations. I mean it's it's just amazing the opportunities that are there that, that people don't even really think about, but they could be a big help. Right. Now I imagine over the years you had some volunteers who have helped in different areas that have stayed with it for many years. We do. We we have um we have some that have sort of grown with their children through the school system. They started out volunteering when their child was in elementary school and they kind of followed their child as they've gone up through the grade levels and, and helped in the schools at the different areas. So yeah. it, 
you know, whether you've helped us for five or ten years or whether you've never helped us before, we'll take you. We'll take you as you are. And I imagine that you can use mentors and volunteers from kindergarten right on through high school. We can. Um, in fact, probably our greatest need is in the elementary school level because those, those are sort of the busy years. There's a lot of, a lot of activity going on with those students. and. Um, a lot of times having an extra hand in the classroom is real helpful for the teacher. The, the students are still trying to learn their behavior and classroom guidelines, so it can be a big help. Right. But certainly any help in the middle, middle school years and the high school years can, can be right. great too. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that you get a lot of parents who are, are volunteers and mentors, but you also are looking for anybody, whether they have children in the school or, or not. That's exactly right. Uh, you can be someone that's retired and is no longer either working or you're working at home, you're doing your, your wife's honey-do list, um, a grandparent, anyone. We don't specify an age. You do not have to have children within the school system. Um, you know, we, we'll take you and put you in the right you direction, right. put you where we need you. Great. Well, hopefully you can get some volunteers um, and add to that list of 40. How can people, and I know you said that they could call the individual schools if they want to go a specific place, but if they just are in general want to have help wherever, exactly. they call you? Some may know a, a particular school they'd like to help out at, and that's wonderful. Go out and talk with that principal and then the principal will get you in touch with our HR department there at the district office. But if you just want to help wherever there's a need, come by the district office and we'll have the paperwork there for you to fill out. And um, depending on you know some of the questions maybe that, that we ask, we might can sort of lead you in the direction where you're going to be the most helpful. Right, okay. And that district office is on 701? It is. It's across the street from Elizabethtown Middle School. So if you happen to be available that day, we'll send you right across, right across the, street the street to the middle school and let Great. you start helping there. All right. Well, hopefully that'll, that'll happen and we can draw some people to the school and, and get some more help for you. That would be great. I would appreciate that. Um, any help that we can get that that makes a big difference. Great. Well, Valerie, I appreciate you coming thank by you and spending so time. Thank and, you so much. Thank you. And thank you all for watching the Saturday show. You all have a good week.